Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done helping Chodo Hobat and the Athorians with not only getting info and dirt on Zerka Corporation, and in particular, Jana Lorso, and also helping them with the mercenaries that Zerka then subsequently hired after that to then try to kill all of the Athorians. Which, you know, I guess if you're going to be kicked out, might as well go out with a bang, as it were. So, uh, we, deal we dealt with all of that. So now we're going to go ahead and board this shuttle to go to the planet's surface, where we then meet Baudur. And we're going to take the freighter to the Restoration Zone 0031. Citadel Station, this is Admiral Karth Onassi of the Republic Cruiser Sojourn. Admiral Onassi, this is Lieutenant Gren, TSF. We've been expecting you. Gren, it's nice to know that TSF hasn't gone to shambles in my absence. And how about you, an admiral? You might change your tune after you see what the situation is like down here, Karth. I've got some bad news for you. Well, it can't be that bad, Gren. I think Telos has already been through the worst. The one you came all the way out here to pick up, well, he managed to escape the station. We're not exactly sure how it happened. Well, that's unfortunate, but luckily it still fits our plans. Am I hearing this right? I'll tell you more when I arrive, but the Republic has decided not to detain the Exile and adopt a wait-and-see approach. The Exile? Then... Like I said, we'll talk more when I arrive. Looks like we will. I'm uploading the approach vector to you now. See you soon, Admiral. Some more dumped exposition. Interesting. Oh joy, of course, I get shot at. And of course I get shot down. Another happy landing. Oh, joy. <laughs> Please tell me you're the Zabrak I'm looking for. Good to have you back, General. General. My head feels like I've been ripped in half. Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. General? You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad he's not a droid, huh? You oh, that's with you. That lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian mechanic corps that was at Malachor. Later. I can see how you forget me, being that I was the only one. Sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit. I think I might recall you. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malachor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. How are the others? They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed, and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. True. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place, and this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask. Just what are you doing here? I was told I might be able to find my ship here. Well, if your ship's in as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're gonna have much luck. Nah, it wasn't. Well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Oh yeah. <laughs> your last time on Telos? No, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. Mm. You're welcome, Crayon. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. 
Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. Oh, come on, Kreia. Come on. The options are either dead or alive but hurting. I mean, I know what I would choose, considering. Okay. We need to get out of here before Zerka's mercs show up. They're probably already on their way. Thank you. Wait, why? I had a little run in with Zerka that involved me ending up in a force cage. I managed to escape during an electrical malfunction. So far, I've managed to outrun them. Ah, what caused the malfunction? Something went wrong underground. The ruins used to be some sort of military research center, and something reactivated its defenses. Oh. The salvage teams never came back, so Zerka sent in a mercenary team. Later, one merc bugged out with military droids on his heels, and they started shooting up the compound. Oh, what do you think happened? I don't know. I was already locked up. They thought the salvage teams accidentally turned something on, but I don't believe it. The power was blown out in the firefight, and that's when I got away. They sent a pursuit team after me, but most of them were busy trying to resecure the compound. Hmm. So what shut us down? It's me. No one's supposed to be here but a Zerka research team. I can't say they'd be happy to see us, but shooting us down? I can't imagine Zerka having us shot down by a bunch of scientists either. You know, I caught a glimpse of what looked like an AD tower when we flew over the compound. Why would a research station have an air defense tower? Maybe they're doing something they shouldn't be. I've seen pirate bases with the same sort of setup. That would explain a bit. That would explain quite a bit. So they're basically operating a pirate base is what you're saying. Okay, we need to find our ship. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but Natty and I can fix that wreck. So what do we do? We'll have to get back to the compound. It's the old Athorian research station, turned into a salvage team staging area. It won't be an easy hike. Why not? First, there's a mercenary pursuit team looking for me. If Zerka secure the compound, there could be a lot of them out there. Second, there's all the Canucks. <laughs> What's a Canuck? The vicious wide jaw predators the Athorians imported from Duxon. Ah. Uh, meant to keep the herbivore population in check. Mm. I don't see any herbivores around. Right. The Canucks ate them all. Now they'll eat anything they can catch, including us. Enjoy. Without the Athorians to maintain the accelerated ecosystem's balance, everything here is falling apart. Zerka's killing the restoration project piecemeal. So that's what you mean. Zerka's failing to actually keep up with what should be kept up with, and thereby making the whole planet suffer as a result. Let's get going then. That's the plan. Sounds good to me. Oh, joy. Baodur has joined the party. He possesses a special ability to rend and destroy force fields, using his shield breaker ability in combat to disrupt enemy force fields. Cool. Pretty cool. Alright. I could get Kreia and have an experience bonus. Or I could have Atten who is at least a decent ranged combatant as well. Hmm. I'd rather have Kreia. I'd honestly rather have Kreia. Cool. And now I have to level up Baudur, who's also pretty light side with me. Repulsor Strike. I'm assuming Repulsor Strike is that Shield Breaker ability they were talking about. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. 
that I can up the intelligence so he gets even more points. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, in that case... That's just a no-brainer right there. All right. <laughs> okay, what? Well, let's see. Let's see. It's repulsor strike. Can release energy stored in capacitors in his arm during combat, causing an extra 1 to 6 electrical damage with a 10% chance of causing slow for two rounds if they fail a fortitude save. Hmm. This damage stacks with unarmed attacks. Interesting. Okay. He has melee abilities, but no ranged abilities. So I'm guessing he's supposed to be melee. Huh. Interesting. Okay. And he can only go up to medium. He's not allowed to have heavy. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well... I guess we can go with toughness to give him a little extra hit points, if nothing else. And more points being distributed, of course. All right. His points are not as high as Kreia's, but I'm sure that won't matter much in the grand scheme of things. Okay. All right. Baudur apparently has a history with me, A, and also B, is pretty decent as a melee combatant. And here's the canics he was talking about. And that didn't work. Why do I bother? Why do I bother? He's actually, he's actually fighting without a weapon right now. And he's actually doing pretty good. Well, I also got a level up from that too. <laughs> okay. He has a remote as well. What's with the remote? Oh, I got an armed specialist too. Okay, interesting. Alright, uh, computer use. No, that's not what I want to push up. That I want to push up. That I want to push up. Huh. Okay. Okay. That should be good. That should be good enough, I think. Um, battle meditation. Dominate mind. Hmm. It feels like something that would be misused really easily. I probably shouldn't. Affecting mind is one thing, but dominate, yeah, that seems like a dark sidey sort of thing. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, can't do much else in the way of combat powers other than doing stasis and disable droid. All right. Well, since I'm going to be dealing with probably mainly human opponents for most of this section, I guess we'll go with this. For now. That should be good. I was about to say, I was wondering when the music would stop. Onward we go! I guess. Ah, uh, that's the shield they were talking about. Yeah. Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably crap. looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. Double crap. 
All right. Well, they're talking about that, which I wasn't looking at, because I was busy looking at this. The shield they were talking about... A lot of frag mines. Let's go. Mercenaries uh, have at least two hidden caches like this. We should keep our eyes open. At least two? Let's go. And they're hidden caches. Well, you're the highest in demolitions. I'm going to let you deal with the frag mines. And collect them for me! <laughs> I'm going to collect these before I do anything else. Yeah, don't get any closer, me. Let's not do that, shall we? Okay, good. And with that done, thank you, Baudur. We're going to get into this hidden cache. Zabrak combat suit. Piece of grenade. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, there's no there's no salvaging this. There is no salvaging this at all. I'm assuming this is the shield. And, uh, well, at least it's not killing me. Running into it. But wow. If that's how the planet that isn't being worked on is. And the fact that they've gotten this far is impressive. So this is part of the planet that is still broken and destroyed. At least that's what it looks like. Wow. Really impressive. Honestly, I should probably equip you with something. Zabrak combat suit. I mean, you are Zabrak. So, I mean, it's a good idea. But you also can do medium armor. Light battle armor. The Sinigar War Suit allows you some extra max dexterity and allows you resistance against Sonic. It's worth a shot, at least. Energy shield. Telos Mining Shield, just so we can... Get that used up. Insulated gloves. Hmm. And might as well give him some weapons. That wouldn't be terrible either. Give him some dual wielding if nothing else. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, no, that should be perfectly fine. There we go. I hear you. I know you do. All right, let's get going. And I can't target anything but the sentry droid. That's annoying. Okay, now I can attack the mercenaries at least. Uh, let's have you go there. And let's see, I will have you take care of that, since you're the one who has the weapons that are good against droids. And I guess I'll have you also do disable droid, if nothing else. Actually, focus on disable droid. And wait a minute. Do I have you set for Jedi support? That's what I need you set for. Alright. Characters using the Jedi behavior will attack any enemies they see, but will also use supporting Jedi powers to heal and augment their companions. Only Jedi can use this behavior. Good. That would be fantastic if you did that. In fact, uh, Force Whirlwind for you after that. And then we do more Master Flurries. Yeah, that works. Why am I not surprised that you put on the energy shield? Haha! -ha! That worked out beautifully. Why do I keep missing? It's like no matter what I do, I miss. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Now I'm helping you with this. And I guess we'll try that on you. See if that works. Ha <laughs> ha, I did. Beautiful. All right. All right, and good. Not ideal, but it worked out. Okay. And swoop bike and land speeder. Code locked. What about the swoop bike? Code locked. Damn it. All right, well, so much for that plan. And since Kreia's force points are down... Healing! All done by moi. Beautiful. Alrighty. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. Great. That's what I want to know. Well, at least we're dealing with it. And it's down. Good. <sighs> and it didn't drop any loot. Whoa! Of course. She gave us super speed. So I can't see nothing. We ran through the frag mine, but it's fine. All right. What I don't understand is, at least in combat, they don't have that issue with, you know, the motion blur. But outside of combat, it has all the issue with motion blur. Why couldn't they just apply it to everything? Because the motion blur is what drives me up a wall. Because then I can't see where I'm going. All the speed in the world don't matter if you can't tell where the hell you're going. All right. All right. And more Canucks. And... There we go. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to be able to loot these anyways, but I was kind of hoping maybe they would drop something. Ah, uh, well. A bag. And a skeleton. Well... Too bad for the skeleton. It got eaten. And I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. The force is strong here. Whether Chodo and his herd has anything to do with that is another matter. Can you feel anything? Okay. Xbox One decided it wanted to turn on just to make itself seem important, I guess. That was what that noise was. Uh, can I feel anything about the Force? A whisper, perhaps. Like the breeze through the grass. That is good. As a breeze may swiftly turn to a gale, you are slowly beginning to be reopened to the Force. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore. I head along the cliffs to the south. No need to hide. Let's take them all out. Bold. All right. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead and do that. But first things first. Turn on an energy shield. What's going on? And let's have you turn on yours and have you turn on yours. Alrighty. Now the fun begins. I don't know why the Force Whirlwind didn't go, but alright. Whatever. Alright. I'm getting more annoyed at the fact that nothing's hitting, but that worked out, so I guess that's fine. Hey, there we go. 
Alright, and heal. Because, boy, do I need it. Okay. Alright. And... We deal with you now. Okay. And we're going to deal with the additional... Because, quite frankly, the veteran will take me longer. And they will just chip down my health while I focus on the veteran. So better to not do that. And down you go. And did you just put on another shield? You already had like one. So now you're putting on two? Alright. Whatever. Time to beat them down. Once again. At least I'm able to get some hits in. And down they go. And I'm sure these things are also code locked. So I'm not going to bother with that. Heavy combat suit. Okay. Not bad. Parts. Okay, that ain't bad either. More remains. This one's from the veteran, I think. Adrenal strength. Okay, not as good as I was hoping. Arcanian energy shield. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And let's go ahead and deal with these Canucks. That didn't work at all. Joy. Ha! That one did. All right, there we go. And there we go. Beautiful. A backpack. With more bodies. Exchange work gloves, excuse me? Strength enhancer. Ooh. That I want. That I want. And it gives me a save of fortitude anyway on top of it. Beautiful. I love seeing that. And we'll give you this, because that's good. Uh, work gloves. Oh. Adds to computer use, demolitions, and security, plus dexterity. Typical attire for experienced exchange members. Well, they're now typical attire for Baudur, because that's useful. As all hell. All right. And with that in mind, might as well give him some blasters. Blaster carbine. Now, uh, force pike. Eh, maybe. Maybe useful. He is more of a melee guy. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that. There you go. That should be good. This is upgradable, right? No, it's not. Damn. All right, I was hoping it was. I hear you. Okay, well, time for healing. Or at least as much as I can manage. Uh, med pack. I can do an advanced med pack on me. Oh, I can choose. That's right, I can choose who I use them on. That's extremely useful. More useful than it was. And more remains than I expected. Credits? Can I get credits? I oh, must have eaten it. That makes more sense. Alright, I know these aren't going to work. Maybe there's a cache over here. Oh, but there are canics as well. Ha ha! Alright. Alright. I'm still not making as many hits as I would like. All right, there we go. Oh, well, that's not good for them. <laughs> Whoever this... Oh, that was the Athorians. Oh, that sucks for them. And down you go. Beautiful. Okay. Of course, you had to give me that when I didn't need it. Power implant. Is that something I can use is the question. I guess I'll see. I can. <laughs> and it gives me more strength to boot. Okay. How could I turn that down? Give him that. 
That's good. That's a good idea. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, the more I get strength, the more powerful my strikes become. I'm okay with this, but now I still can't see anything. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Good. I will admit, though, it is rather nice. Oh, there's the other cache. It's over here. Good. It is kind of nice that I can equip armor that would usually not allow me force powers, but because of my connection to Kreia, I get those force powers anyway. That is rather nice. Maybe I should let her have battle meditation. <laughs> Now that I think about it, it would be smarter. Um, hmm. This has all of my stats, but... Is this upgradable? I gotta find out. I'll find out before I put it on, but... Let's go. All right. Frag mines, time to recover. All right. Beautiful. Wait, there's two? There's two? Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Let's see what we got out of these. Whoops. Hidden cache there. I'm aware. You said that. Ichani Battle Armor, Baron Do Novice Robe. Okay. And these are pretty standard. Okay. The other one had a lot more cool stuff. Let's look at that, shall we? Uh, the Ichani Battle Armor is medium, so I can't wear that. I could possibly give it to Baudur, though. Maybe. Can't equip this, though. Okay, that's fine. Immunity to dark side and light side, plus one wisdom. Novices are those who have begun their training in the Baron Do philosophy, learning how to empty their minds and find tranquility in any situation. The Baron Do are four sensitive members of the Keldor race. They seek inner peace and are very patient. Consulting with the Force before making decisions. Interesting. And also interesting that it gives me damage immunity percentage to both sides of the spectrum. That is odd. But... Nothing I need. Maybe I could give it to Kreia, though. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, probably a very good idea. It's not like it's going to change her appearance any. Okay. Fair enough. Time to get out of here. And... I looted that area. I looted this area. I looted them. I took care of that spot. Okay. I thought I heard another robot, but it was just the remote. <laughs> okay. It threw me off for a second. Warning. Minefield ahead. Well, you don't say. Alright. Yeah. Gonna deal with all of these. Or at least enough of these to make a path forward. Okay. I'm just gonna run right on through. Like it doesn't matter. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> at least I was able to recover half of them. Okay. And I blew through the other energy shield, at least. Alright. 
Don't know why I turned that back on. Don't know why I turned that one on, actually, I should say. Okay. I feel dumb. Oh, so they don't actually bother trying to walk towards me until I move. Okay, that's weird. But whatever. Time to heal. <laughs> Time to heal more. Ah, uh, boy. Zerka Excavation Site. Okay. Looks more like a factory to me. Or at least for that many buildings. I see. Okay. See if that works. Almost did. Just not quite. Let us end this. Huh. Group here as well. And I don't get anything from the droid. Okay, that's fine. Oh, joy. The human is here. My turrets did not work. Ah, but my droids will not fail me. Right. Destroy him, my warbots. Uh, mercenary droid master. Could I... Could I... I guess I can't. Whatever. Okay. And now she pulls out her melee weapon. And now we deal with her. A lot of this combat is a mess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, a lot of it is a mess. But we're we are getting somewhere at least. Okay. I don't know why I'm turning on an energy shield, but hey, it could be useful. Alright, there we go. And now you deal with the rest of the f mines, because, well, we blew through at least half of them that were here. Alrighty. I have... So much more abilities focused on me than I thought possible. Primarily because, well, the bond between me and Kreia. <laughs> that helps a little, I guess. Uh, have you turn on your energy shield too? Because I still need to blow through those, and energy shields will help me at this point. There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have to find our way there, though. The yeah, it looks like it. We have here, the Jedi. Yeah. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corbin does it? Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. Ah. Corin Fault. So he did take over. Fair enough. He was right. We'll see. You may have caught a few of my boys off guard, but let's see how you fight now, Jedi. Attack! Alright, well, I guess we're attacking. Oh, come on. Is that... I was about to say, is that motherfucker T's posing? <laughs> there we go. And we're going to fight you, because you want to get in close. Like an idiot. And down you go. And we're going to take you out. Since you're already indisposed. And we're going to take you out too. Or at least we're going to do another one of these. And then slowly try to take you out. Little by little. Whoop. I don't want to end up pulling more into the fray. Actually, you know what? Do the flurry. Or not? Then do that. Okay. Now it works, at least. Okay. 
That commander has not taken any significant amount of damage. Well, at least until now. Well, hi there. I was about to say, I don't think they're fighting us. Now they are. Well, okay. Okay. Well, looks like Ba'udur is in trouble, so I should probably help him in giving him a med pack. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're going to basically be giving him med packs the entire time. There we go. Oh, boy. Alright, well. I can't... <laughs> if I leave him to his own devices, he does stupid maneuvers like this. Okay, alright, alright, okay. This is just not going to work out. Oh, of course he is. Alright. Okay. Alright. And they're all veteran mercenaries here, too. This is annoying. Okay. Well, I can take care of this one, at least. And down with you. Oh, boy. <laughs> At least the other combatants aren't fighting us because Bawador went down. He is blocking, and I am missing. It's annoying. <sighs> there we go. Come on. How? How am I still missing? All right, whatever. All right. He can't get up because he's just going to keep fighting. Yeah, I know. All right. I'm going to heal myself real quick because I'm going to need it. All right. At least took out that one. <laughs> what was that noise for it? And I'm going to do a med pack on Kreia. Just to be nice. All right. All right. And I'm going to take care of you. And take care of you. As much guff as I give the game about the combat, at least when I preset some of the uh, things that they do, it at least stays that way. And we're going to give him a normal med pack. There we go. And, oh yeah, I forgot I got a life support pack. And let's level them up, because boy... Do they need it right now? <laughs> Alright. And I can't do any more than that, really? Boy. Let's skip that for now, then. Alright. And level her up with more in awareness, repair, and treat injury. Oh, that's right. Oh, well. <laughs> Just keep teaching Grandma how to use computers, I guess. Because stealth is not worth the time and effort. And now we teach her battle meditation. Since for now we'll be keeping her in the party anyway. Alright. Cool. Alright. And now we beat this last guy over here. This guy who's just been sitting... Oh, these guys, rather. I mean... You kind of went off on your own for no reason and kind of went and died so and there I get a level up too okay alright can't complain about that 
And there we go. Good powers. Your light side, dark side rating affects the force point cost of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become, and vice versa. Yep. I know. Determination. I finally got determination. Really? Took me that long? Alright, whatever. Um, let's learn Disable Droid, since I'm running into more of those than I thought I would. That's good, at least. Alright, um... Now to check if I have any looting to do. So I know there was the plasteel cylinders here. Exchange utility belt. Okay, that's not too bad. What does the utility belt do is the question. Everything. <laughs> and it also adds to strength, so I don't even need to worry about the fortitude bonus. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, repair, security, demolitions, <laughs> computer use. And I get strength and dexterity. Okay. I don't see why I shouldn't use this, actually. <laughs> uh, but maybe not on me. Maybe on... You. Give you the Sistec Cardio Regulator. Yeah. Now that should be fine. That should be just fine. Ooh, remains. And some mines over there. Gamorian War Axe. Alright. And I'm just going to loot the outside of this place a little bit. More like a lot of it. But... Interesting. Old military base. Where are you going? We need to check out the computer console oh. up on the landing pad, not go exploring some abandoned military facility. I mean, yeah, true, but I mean, I was kind of curious what it was. I didn't actually mean to walk forward enough for it to register as that. Mandalorian melee shield. More remains. Good. Security tunneler and disruptor rifle. Disruptor Rifle isn't bad. Just blows through shields. I have no problems with that. And I can't go into that anyway. Okay, so I guess we go to that landing pad for the computer. Like he said we do. Okay, but first I want to open this. If it will let me. There we go. Matukai Apprentice Robe. Matukai. Whoa. Constitution, Dexterity, and Strength. Matukai Apprentices master physical meditation by practicing martial arts techniques. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk. These ro their robes are designed to help them achieve harmony between the mind and body. The Matukai are a group of Force sensitives who use their physical body to channel the Force. The balance of the physical and spiritual is a cornerstone of their philosophy. It's a shame it doesn't give me any armor, though. But it does give me plenty of other bonuses. Question is, can I also put on other things? Hard to say. But I'll keep that... I'll keep that in the back pocket. Should I run into a uh, workbench or something? Hopefully, I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good. It's functional. And my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. TSF said the Ebon Hawk wasn't at any sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Hmm. The atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry lions. So that oh. means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, hmm. a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle. More like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region. 
But nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. How are we going to get there? That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we don't know that the shuttle will still be there, or working. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. Okay, what are we waiting for then? There's one other small problem. Okay. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Yeah, true. And you've already talked about this, so... Let's go. Into... The facility we go. So in the end, we actually ended up having to go. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so we are quite a bit over time for this episode. So I'm just going to end this for right now. But we have a lot of stuff in our inventory now. And a lot more options as well. Uh, I'm hoping we get to a workbench so I can figure out what can be done with what and then we'll go from there hopefully soon so thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so you can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see you all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and doing my damnedest to well get out of this situation because it seems like uh, we're stuck on the planet until we get our ship back and it keeps getting more complicated by the second. But we have Baudur, who seems to be capable enough, uh, at least when he follows my directions. So, uh, we should be there rather soon. Maybe next episode. Maybe not. For you.